back his ability to guard. Here's a look at pistol offense, also called 21 or hurry up. I'll be calling it 21 because that's the way I would first heard it. There are a number of videos on YouTube going into detail about how this offense works, but I want to just cover some of the basics and just the fundamental ideas behind it. It's more of an action than it is an actual offense. It starts with that uh, pass to the wing generally, and then an exchange here. He starts on Typically the five man here will set a flare screen, that little bump, and then he'll come set a ball screen. But in this case, he receives a pass. So he just flows with it and hands it back off to the passer and then gets into a pick and pop. The weak side players there, they just spread the floor looking for a chance to spot up for three. Sometimes they'll down screen or screen away for one another. But in this case, they just spot up and let the ball handler go to the rim. Pass to the wing and then just chase to the corner. And we're going to get a screen here again from that five man coming over. He's going to slip this screen this time. He's not even really going to set it. He's just going to dive to the basket and get open. Again, we're going to get this pass to the wing. This time he's not going to go over. He's just going to go through the lane and then curl back around. Is a willing pass which shows you don't have to be robotic in this offense. You just keep the floor spaced. You got a lot of options. It's generally going to turn into that pick and roll. After that first pass, he's going to come set a screen and slip it. And got a wide open lane because of how well they spread the court. So here, this is what happens. Now he's going to slip the screen again. But when you start to get help down now, because the lane has been so wide open in the past, now we get the perimeter players more open because they have to come down and help on that screen and roll and this is basically just a four out offense now four out and one in and get a nice shot there five out offense as well this uh, pistol action goes right into a four and a five out four out and five out offense very easily and another read by the guard is not to even make this entry pass which gives you a lot of good options because you've already set the defense up for that entry pass on a number of previous possessions. Typically 32 there would set a flare screen and then come and set a ball screen for the ball handler to get into a pick and roll on the side of the court there, like we've seen in other examples. But in this case, the ball handler is able just to go all the way to the basket and find a shooter in the corner, just kind of showing it's a very much a read and react offense. There's a lot of options out of it depending on how the defense plays it. The analytics people will say that one last example with Colorado here. We're not even going to get a full pistol action. We're just going to get that pick and roll in the perimeter. And typically those other two players on the weak side would exchange or pin down screen of some kind, some kind of movement over there. In this case, they just stay put. And instead, they just swing the ball to that side and are in their four-out offense now. The player that came off that uh, roll part of the pick and roll, he just stays in the post looking for an opportunity to get open. And in college, with the 30-second shot clock, you have a lot more time to run another set. So you get into the 21 early, looking for early offense, and see if there's something there. If there's not, now you have your base offense you can just roll right into. This is Arizona's second game. Nice feed inside.